What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a portrait illustration of Jason from GTA 6. For today's lesson, we'll be sketching with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B lead. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We're gonna start from the very top. And we're just gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Let's go up to the top and draw another line going across from left to right. Now we use these two lines to help us create a circle along the top of our page. So from that center point, let's move up. It's gonna mark off the top of our circle. And I wanna take that same distance from the center and do the same thing across the bottom. Let's repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the center over toward the left and then the right side. Now you just wanna connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create a circle. So let's start with the top left and we can just go back and just readjust and the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement along the top center of our page. Let's add another line coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left and then the right. And then one more line going across the bottom of our circle. Now with our circle and guidelines in place, we're going to start blocking out the facial features. Let's start by adding a gap in between the eyebrows from that center line. Let's move over toward the left, draw a line going up. Let's measure that same distance over towards the right. Now from the bottom, we're just going to angle the brow going up and then out towards the side of our line. From the outside, let's step in, draw a short line coming down. Now it's going to add some thickness to the eyebrow, starting on the left, going up that same angle on both sides. And just angle that down and out. Now we're going to leave a larger gap along the inside corner of the eyes. So we're going to step out. Let's go to the outside, curve the eye, coming down and then in. Now we want to place the mask on top of the face. So starting right in the middle, we're just going to bend this out and then down toward the left and right side. Let's go to the outside of the eye line, draw a straight angle line coming down and in towards the jaw. And then from the jaw, it's going to slope the chin coming down. And we don't have to go all the way, we're just going to add a fold for the mask. Let's add another fold along the outside, starting on the left around the jaw, going out and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go back up to the side, slope this out and then down. And let's connect the ends with another curve coming down the middle and then back up. Let's slope the shoulders with a straight angled line. Now the head's tilted slightly forward, so the ears are gonna sit a little bit higher along the side of the head. So start on left, angle this up and out. Come down the side. Angle this back down and in. Let's go to the center of our circle, draw the widow's peak, angle this up and out towards the side of our circle. On the outside, step in, curve this around and down, bend this out and then down towards the ears. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean drawing, we're going to use this rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shape. And I'd like to start with the inside edge of the brow. I'm just going to bend this in and then up. I'm just going to lightly sketch in this detail, adding a slight fold in between. I'm just going to work our way across the bottom of the eyebrow and then bend that down. Just going to add some thickness to the eyebrow. Going way across the eyelid. And I'm going to add a fold across the top. And going across the bottom of the eye. I'm going to tuck the iris underneath the eyelid. So I'm drawing a half circle on either side. We just want to make sure we get the right placement before we darken this in. I'm just going to add a little bit more shape to the mask 
on the top. We're adding some more fold and shape to the mask. I'm just going to go clean up our drawing one final time before we add more detail and shading. Now we're going to go back and just darken up our contrast, starting with the eyes. Again, just continue to add some more shape and detail. I'm just going to add some texture inside the eyebrows, starting along the bottom edge. I'm just going to pull this up and then out towards the top. I'm just adding a soft shadow underneath the eyelid. Now, if we're happy with the placement of the iris, we're just going to go in and add a small highlight and then darken up the top and just fade that down. Now, for the rest of the head, I'm just going to switch to a 0.9 millimeter mechanical pencil, still using a 2B lead, just darkening up our contrast and folds. Add some shadow inside the ear. Now to shade in the hair, I'm just going to move to the side edge of my 2 millimeter pencil and just darken up the outside and just fade that in towards that line. Just going to fade that up towards the top. Just darken up the perimeter of the hair, and I'm just going to lightly feather that out as it comes down towards the edge of the hairline.
Now we're gonna shift the shadow over towards the right side. So it's gonna soften up the center and then just go a little bit darker as you go out towards the right. Just darken up the shadow underneath the folds. I'm just going to layer in some texture inside the hair. Now as we get near the end, we're just going to add a subtle texture inside the mask and a shadow along the bottom. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Jason from GTA 6. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.